my main ob objective was to to run a course record. But I was well prepared again for to run a fast race. Yeah. everyone wherever you are watching us from welcome to jalango tv news as i take you through the life of the world marathon record holder kelvin kiptam my name is eddie max as you all know kelvin kiptam and his rwandese coach gavais hakizimana died in a road accident at captagat area along the elgeyo marakwet ravine road on sunday of 11th february 2024 at 11 p.m Many Kenyans are heartbroken by the world marathon record holder's death, Kelvin Kiptam, months after his victory. Kelvin Kiptam Cheruyot was a Kenyan long-distance runner and the marathon world record holder at the time of his death. He was the only person in history to run the marathon under two hours and one minute in a record-eligible race. He ran three of the seven fastest marathons in history. He was born on the 2nd of December 1999. Kiptam won three marathons. He participated in all three renowned, including two top tire world marathon majors, WMM, and held between December 2022 and October 2023. The times he achieved are three of the six fastest times in history, a course record under two hours and two minutes in each case, making him the only man ever to break this barrier thrice. Kiptam ran the fastest ever marathon debut at the 2022 Valencia Marathon, becoming only the third man in history to break two hours and two minutes in setting the 10th fourth quickest time ever. Kiptam followed it up four months later with the second fastest marathon in history at two hours, one minute and 25 seconds, 16 seconds outside the world record at the 2023 London Marathon. In his next race, the 2023 Chicago Marathon, WMM, six months later in October 2023, the 23-year-old broke the world record by 34 seconds with a time of 2 hours and 35 seconds. Kelvin Kiptam grew up in Chepsamo village, Chepkorio, the high altitude 2,600 meters, area in picturesque Elgeo Marakwet County of Kenya's Rift Valley. It is located some 30 kilometers east of Eldoret on the southeastern border of the Kaptagat Forest and just near the edge of the meridional Elgeo escarpment to the east which rapidly gives way to the lower Kerio Valley it between 800 and 1200 meters. Together with nearby counties of Kenya, the region is known as the birthplace of many renowned Kenyan runners and also as a mecca for foreign runners. As a young boy, he herded his family's cattle and began following other barefoot runners along the forest trails. Kiptam started training around 2013 when he was only 13 years old. Of age. In the year 2013, Kiptam participated in his first half marathon, the Family Bank Eldoret Half Marathon in his native Kenya, finishing 10th. He placed 12th the following year. In 2018, the teenager took his first victory, winning this race. He was self coached at the time. Kiptam then debuted on the international stage at the Lipson Half Marathon, Portugal, in March 2019, finishing. He participated also in six other races that year, touring the North and West Europe and winning the Tough Cars Half Marathon back home in November. It was reported that in 2020, Kip Tam had started working with Rwandan 3000 meters staple chess record holder Gavais Hakizimana as a coach, although Kip Tam supposedly had periodically trained alongside other youths with him since the year 2013. Since about 2020, he was already preparing for the marathon. In December that year, the then 21-year-old set a significant personal best in the Spanish Valencia half marathon at 58 minutes, 42 seconds, placing sixth. In 2021, he ran 59 minutes, 35 seconds, and 59 minutes, two seconds half marathons in lanes 
France placing first and Valencia again placing eighth respectively. In December, 23-year-old Kiptam pulled off an upset when debating in the classic 42.195 km distance at the Valencia Marathon. Running with a negative split, he took the victory with the fourth fastest time ever of 2 hours, 1 minute and 53 seconds, becoming the third man in history to break two hours and two minutes. Only his compatriot and then world record holder Eliud Kipchoge and Ethiopia's Kenenisa Bekele had ran faster up to that point. Kiptam set the quickest second half in marathon history. His winning time was by far the fastest marathon debut in history, smashing the course record by over a minute. He also beat the runner-up by more than a minute and the 2022 World Marathon Champion Tamirat Tola, pre-race favorite among others. In his following race, a debut in a World Marathon major at the London Marathon in April, Kiptam trumped decisively in rainy conditions with the second fastest mark in history at 2 hours 1 minute 25 seconds, a course record which was only 16 seconds outside the world record. Achieving a negative split again, with the first half of the race, he broke from the field after the 30 kilometers mark and completed the final half in 59 minutes and 45 seconds, the fastest half marathon in a full marathon race ever up to that point. He beat second-placed compatriot Geoffrey Camoror, who came from the same village and had inspired young Kiptam to athletics by nearly three minutes and Kipchoge's course record of two hours, two minutes, and 37 seconds by more than a minute. In his following race, being his third marathon and a second world marathon major at the Chicago Marathon on 8th October and still aged 23, Kiptam set a new world record with a time of 2 hours and 35 seconds, slicing 34 seconds off Kipchoge's standard set at the 2022 Berlin Marathon and obliterating the course record by more than 3 minutes. Kiptam negative split again, but this time the first half was covered in 60 minutes, 48 seconds, almost a minute faster than his performance in London, though still 14 seconds behind the world record pace. And he had the stamina to run his second half at 59 minutes, 47 seconds, only 2 seconds slower than in London, where he set the quickest half in a marathon. In Valencia and London, the Kenyan made his trademark move roughly near the 30 kilometer checkpoint. After the 29th kilometer in a fast 2 hours 35 minutes, he clocked a record 13 minutes 35 seconds from 32 to 37 kilometers at a swift of 2 hours 43 minutes kilometer pace. Thus, Cape Town averaged 2 hours 51 minutes per pace for the entire distance. He ran at the front after the 15 kilometer checkpoint without a pacemaker after halfway and alone from 30th kilometer onward, beating the runner up, his compatriot Benson Kipruto, by almost three and a half minutes. Following Cape Town's record breaking performance in October 2023, his coach provided insight on the athletes training regimen. Gavels Hakizimana stated that Kiptam logged 250 to 280 kilometers per week in the lead up to that year's London Marathon in April. His routine regularly featured daily morning runs spanning 25 to 28 kilometers track or fat leg workouts on Tuesdays and Saturdays and intense long runs of 30 to 40 kilometers at close to marathon pace on Thursdays and Sundays. He trained alternatively in the high altitude areas of Chepkorio and nearby Kerio Valley before the Chicago Marathon. Kiptam was married to Asneth Rotich and they had two children. He was killed in a road accident between Kaptagat and Eluret, Kenya, in which his coach Gavais Hakizimana also died. Local police stated that Kiptam was the driver of a Toyota Premio, which lost control and rolled, killing Kiptam and Hakizimana and injuring a female passenger. May God rest their soul in eternal peace. Thank you so much for tuning in to Jalango TV. Until next time, my name is Eddie Max.